I'm Nick Snow, watching government for Oil and Gas Journal in Washington, D.C. Political campaign strategists emphasize the importance of an effective on-the-ground operation in bringing supporters to the ballot box. One took place in Wyoming this fall, which had nothing directly to do with any upcoming elections. The U.S. Bureau of Land Management's Buffalo, Wyoming Field Office, the Wyoming Conservation Corps, and employees from Devon Energy Corporation's Gillette Field Office and corporate team came together for a nine-day preservation, restoration, and education project to improve sage-grouse habitat in the Powder River Basin's Burnt Hollow area. It was the seventh year that Devon, the WCC, and local BLM officials worked together to improve federal lands in the Cowboy State, according to BLM. We are thrilled to continue our efforts alongside the WCC and Devon, building on the many initiatives we've completed in the past, Dwayne Spencer, who manages the BLM field office, said on October 16th. These activities are essential to BLM success and truly benefit the entire community. Employees from that office joined 19 Devon executives and Gillette field office employees to thin and remove 550 juniper and ponderosa pine trees on 160 acres of priority sage-grouse habitat on BLM land. It was part of a multi-year effort to remove invasive trees from the birds' habitat across the northern Powder River Basin. Politics can tend to get down and dirty. This effort looked more down and dusty, as anyone who has tried to uproot a tough, high western desert plant might tell you. Each year, our staff works side by side with the Wyoming Conservation Corps and Bureau of Land Management to preserve the land and protect habitats in our key area of operation, said Kevin McCauley, Devon's production superintendent in the Powder River Basin. We're proud of our partnership and are dedicated to being good stewards of the land. Devon also hosted an educational day for WCC students BLM leaders and educators from the Cottonwood Elementary School in the nearby town of Wright and its junior and senior high school. The students took a field and drilling rig tour and learned about safety protocol, the area's geologic formations, how oil and gas are produced, and how to work with the federal government on public lands. As one of the state's oil producers, Macaulay said, Devon joins with partners like these to strengthen the communities where its employees live and work. Devon and BLM continue to invest in WCC members and contribute to their knowledge base of natural resource conservation across Wyoming, said WCC project coordinator Patrick Harrington. Our program would not be possible without the support of these partners and their commitment to providing experiences for generations of Wyoming Conservation Corps leaders and members. That's Watching Government for this week. In Washington, I'm Nick Snow for Oil and Gas Journal.